Alright, hi and welcome back to one of my tutorials. Uh, we're finally going to continue on the PHP for Beginners series. And I'm going to start where I left off and that's um, at the HTML forms. Uh, but this time we're actually gonna, uh, you know, create a form that does something, calculates something for you. And I want to do something completely different, but in my last tutorial I said that we could be able to... Uh, uh, calculate our age by inputting or submitting your uh, date of birth or your year of birth actually and that's what I'm going to do actually so uh, we start off with our doc type doc type is uh, actually just uh, um, how your uh, uh, PHP file should interpret your uh, script or uh, your code and HTML5 duct type is very simple. So um, if you do use a HTML5 uh, duct type, make sure to you know use HTML5 in your file. But for now, that's not really important, and we'll just continue by creating our base of the you know uh, the um, the the source code, and obviously that's a uh, a head and a body like your own uh, body actually you have a head and a body and we're going to give it a title and I'm going to call it form tutorial like so alright so let's go to the body right away and I'm going to um, create the form for now like right away and in this form we'll have an action and the action will actually um, it will define what file to use that contains the script for your form. All right. So let's make it easy and call this one calc.php, um, and we'll calculate your uh, your age actually. So um, let's go to action and action will um, it will oh I'm sorry method method and the method will um, define if it should uh, use get or post and the difference between a get and a post is that a get will show its variables in the URL and a post doesn't so for example if we're going to calculate um, our age and it's okay if people could bookmark the result or uh, you know uh, uh, yeah you know bookmark the result um, then you should use a get so if you're doing a search use a get if you're calculating something that doesn't contain uh, sensitive information do a get but if you're submitting a password or anything in that direction you should use a post okay so for this example we'll use get and that's it for this one um, you can also give uh, your form a name but I've experienced that um, you don't really have to do that if you uh, only have one form or you know um, but to make sure just in case give it a name and we're going to call it the calculator alright so now we're going to create a few um, input tags uh, input type of course and the type will be text and other than that um, we have to give the name of course which will be first um, first name like so and that's it so we're going to uh, label label for uh, first name and it's going to be called first name like so slash label all right what this does is that um, we're giving a label um, to uh, this right here because we called it the first name and the label is for first name so it's it's kind of you know 
it's connecting the label to the input field so let's say if you have uh, a tick box and you uh, label it for uh, then you can click on the, the text to uh, you know tick the tick box instead of snipering in the, into the tick box uh, but we'll get to that uh, later also I, I'd like to add be something because I'm not sure if I covered that in uh, in my other tutorials is that you have HTML tags you have uh, body tags and as you can see I'm closing them all uh, you know I'm closing all the tags off as well and you might have noticed that I didn't do that in the input field and the reason for that is that there's nothing between the tags in input so this is also correct but because there's nothing in here um, you can just do this and that's a lot neater nicer you know it's cleaner so if you ever have some you know empty um, tags just close them off like so you can also do that for images for example um, style sheets um, yeah I know a few things that you can uh, cleanly uh, breaks BR uh, same thing so that's uh, the reason I uh, I don't close the tag off okay so now let's uh, get to action and uh, hurry this thing up a little bit so our, uh, we're going to label uh, uh, the year as well which will be um, uh, you know uh, the year you're born in so I'm just gonna call it year instead of uh, date of uh, birth uh, label and so okay so now we're going to create the input and we're going to make it a type text as well doesn't really matter okay then we're giving it a name which will be year and then we're going to close it off all right so uh, we just need one submit button and uh, you know let's uh, make it some sort of nice with an HR and horizontal uh, line line <laughs> but it's uh, a horizontal line over the screen and let's create the last input type which is submit button and give it a value of submit all right like so all right cool um, let me check it one more time okay we closed off the form it's all nice and good okay that's cool so the form should be okay and um, because the form is okay we should get to the action part but for just to be sure oh I accidentally duplicated that line I'm going to run it in Chrome to see how it looks alright as you can see we have first name year and a submit button and obviously is that this does didn't submit and as you can see what I told you before the get it will be added to the URL and I didn't fill anything in so if you did uh, teach me up and the year is uh, I don't know 9090 and you submit the thing you'll see here first name teach me up and year is 1990 and if you're sending a password that's not safe at all you know so um, you should definitely uh, watch that okay now I'm going to create a new file and we're going to call it the calc.php uh, and this one will be PHP only so first off we're going to save it as calc.php uh, obviously a PHP file so like so okay and we get coding so um, let me see we should have the current year the year that is today and I'm making this uh, video in 2012 so we're going to call it current year is a date um, like so and it's date year um, you have different things you can uh, put in date and they're all on uh, the PHP manual and it's a list um, I can look it up for you uh, date PHP manual like so date all right now as you can see um, these are the things you can fill in into your year and uh, year is four numbered uh, year so 
that's what we're going to use and oh wait this is French but it uh, doesn't really matter I'll find uh, the English link for you guys and I'll post it in the description box below um, let's best get back to coding um, after the year we need uh, the year we got from the form which is um, we're just gonna use year is a dollar sign underscore get because we use the get method uh, if you're using a post method, you should, should you should use post, okay? Then we're using this bracket and like so. And in here, we're going to use year because we called it year right over here, okay? Uh, here. So, um, just remember this, okay? Oh, sorry. That's basically year, okay? You're getting the variable year. And you can get uh, the variable name as well. Is same thing, sorry, same thing, name. Or was it called first name? I forgot, you have to check back. And it's called first name, okay. So, like so. And now um, we store what we send with our form into the variable year and into the variable name. And this will be uh, gotten from your computer which is 2012 for me uh, sorry um, then we're going to um, calculate our age and age is um, how do we calculate that it's the current year um, minus the year you filled in and I guess that's enough for today, right? So, I'll do something like, um, uh, we're going to echo something. Echo, um, hey, and then we're going to add, with a point you can add something. Um, not adding as in math, but uh, sticking two parts together. So we're going to do, hey, um, name um, uh, you're about like so um, you're about um, age sorry age so years old and we're going to save that all right, and the spaces doesn't matter in uh, outside the uh, quotation marks. It does in the quotation marks because uh, you need spaces uh, right about there, and it will just add it right away uh, against the the last piece of uh, uh, you know string. So if you do it so, it won't uh, have a space after the the comma. Okay, so I'm going to save this, and I'm going to show you guys real quick um, because I'm. We're running out of time for this tutorial so we're called teach me up we're born in 1990 and we're going to submit it oh and the computer doesn't interpret PHP so I'm gonna pause you guys I've moved my uh, script to my server for a moment uh, just to show you that it does work and we're submitting it and it's hey teach me up you're about 22 years old so that works okay so I'll show you the code one more time um, we have the basic uh, HTML, uh, you know, uh, setup. We're getting a form. Action will uh, show you what to use, what file to use to, uh, you know, after you uh, press the submit button. Uh, method will be get because it doesn't matter. We don't have sensitive information. Post is for things like passwords, etc. Name is calculator. Uh, we're not using name of the form anywhere. Uh, label is um, for the first name. Uh, for this input field, um, it's a type, the name, okay, that's all familiar. That's just a simple line. Input type, all right, submit, the value submit, which is what's in here. So you can put lo 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 over there and then it will set lo lo lo. Okay, and um, our code, current year, it will extract the date from today's date, um, the year from today's date, uh, the year will be uh, put in a variable year the first name will be put in a variable name uh, your age will be calculated roughly 
and it will say hey your name you're about years old okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial again sorry for not making a new video in a series for such a long time i hope you like the quality of this one because i've bought a new microphone mm, please rate this video comment on it and of course subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll see you in my next video have a nice day